Hello, it's me again to talk about the Scaf Karma as promised. So today I just want to talk about the current state and if it's worth grinding. Now if you've seen my last video, if not, I really recommend that you go check it out. It's a, it's, it's a pretty good video. Now, if you've seen my last video on the Scaf Karma, you know that after using the Car Extract and the Duo Extract, you are left with a gap of 321 kills as a scav. That's pretty huge. But what does it really mean in numbers? Now, let's start with the car extract. For the calculation's sake, we just say that the car extract is there every time, that we can catch it every time without dying or whatever, and that we need 15 minutes with queuing to go to the car extract and extract with it. Now, you can do that on each map 10 times. That means 30 times, 15 minutes, that's about 8 hours. I know it's pretty unrealistic that it works every time, but you will see that it doesn't matter for the calculation whatsoever. Now you do extract if you really want to do it. It works very, very rarely, but let's say for calculation's sake again, that it works every time. So you need, let's say, 30 minutes to extract with a scav. You can do it 30 times again. 30 times, 30 minutes, that's about 15 hours. So after 23 hours, you are at about half of what you can gain in terms of fence reputation or karma. But now, you are in front of a brick wall. You are left with 321 kills to do. You need to kill rogue scavs, which there are almost none in most raids now. So the only way to gain this is by killing PMCs. Now let's say for calculation's sake again that we win every fight. Because, well, you, have, you also have to win the fight. <laughs> And also that we don't do any mistakes. We don't confuse a scav player for a PMC because otherwise you can start all over again. We assume that we are absolutely perfect in everything we do, okay? So let's say 15 minutes per raid. And let's say that we find a PMC every fifth raid, which is very unrealistic. In my testing, it was maybe every 10th raid. But okay. So those are the numbers and then we get four... 100 hours is required for those 321 kills if you don't do a single mistake. So what do you get for this grind? 400 hours. Uh, you get cooldown. That's more or less it. Scaf case cooldown, scaf cooldown. Yeah, less car extract. It's not really that huge of a deal. And a bit better gear. But the gear is still level 4 armor and stuff, so armored rigs that cost 40, 50,000, it's also not huge. So, is it worth? I clearly no. <laughs> that's no way that's worth 400 hours. Because imagine, if you put 400 hours into your PMC, you have max trader and max hideout. That's that's a bit better than, well, have, have a lower scaf cooldown, isn't it? <laughs> so, it seems... Very odd. BSG released a new feature that has some really cool aspects to it. And a week later they nerfed it so hard that it basically died. But you can argue that BSG just doesn't want scaf violence and that's why it's, it is as it is. But in order to do that, a punishment would have been enough. You don't need a karma system where you can gain something in order to prevent people from killing other scavs. They could have implemented a way easier system for that. So I don't think that's the reason. But maybe they don't want geared scavs in raid hunting PMCs. But why do they reward killing a PMC as scav with karma then? It doesn't make sense, right? Honestly, I think that they just overdid it with nerf and they're not just not aware of the current state. That's just what I think. If you have an idea why it is as it is, or why they nerfed it so hard, let me know in the comment section below. Now, why should we care? Like, we could just say, yeah, whatever. I mean, most people don't kill each other as Gaff anymore, so who cares? Well, first of all, it's, it's just a pity for all the cool features that they implemented. Like, you can have a Gaff body, you can ask a Gaff to follow you. If you have very high reputation, which is not doable in the current state. That, that's sad that you can't use that feature. It's quite funny. Now, another problem is that D 
this gap karma has become so unachievable that people just don't give a f anymore. I see a lot of people doing the calculation and they come to the conclusion that if they do some car extracts, they gain about a reputation of plus two. So that means that they can kill 40 player scaffs and then they are at zero again and then another 40 and then you're at minus two and then it's not really worth doing scaffs anymore. So they calculate this and do this to push their PMC and by the time their scaff is at minus two or whatever and basically unplayable, their PMC is at max hideout, max trader, and so they don't need the scaff anymore. And I don't think that's what BSG intended with the scaff karma, but currently it's the most profitable way to do it, because it's not worth grinding anything there. Another thing is, who is affected by it the most? It's the people that don't have money, right? Because who does a scaff, a scaff run? Most of the time, it's the people that need money or items. It's not the people that have max hideout, max traders, millions of rubles in their stash. Those people usually don't do scaff runs or just for fun reasons. So it affects the very people at the bottom, right? And why should we care? I hear the argument Tarkov is hardcore blah blah all the time. But, but listen to that. Now why should you care? The thing is, if the scaff isn't a good way to make money anymore, what do people do? They do hatchling runs, right? Now, maybe that's what you want, but for most people that I know, it's not really a lot of fun having tons of hatchlings on a map. So, in my opinion, it would be way better for those people to resort to a scaff run in order to get gear, items, money. But if it's so unachievable as it currently is, the hatchling is way more profitable. Just do a couple of hatchling runs for a couple of hours and you make millions of rubles. Why bother with the scaff at all? So that's why we are all affected. And that's why I personally think that something needs to be done. Now, there are tons of suggestions. I've read a lot. But here are some. The first of all, Fence is a pretty shady person. So it wouldn't be far-fetched if you could buy reputation simply with money and items. But it would have to be a calculated number. So because, let's say you kill Killer, you lose 0.3 reputation. But you also make half a million rubles. So you have to get less reputation than what you can make by killing bosses or other players or whatever, because otherwise everybody starts shooting each other and just buy the karma back. <laughs> but if they use a well thought out number, this could perfectly work. People that want to grind it can grind it. We have the scaff. You can play scaff, buy rep, play scaff, buy rep, lower the cooldown, and so on. It becomes a new gameplay loop, so to speak. Another way would be fence missions. Let's say fence, fence has a mission every day where he looks for three items found in raid. This can be something very easy, like a plug. And for each item that you turn in, you get 0 0.01. So not much, but it's grindable for the people that want it. So those are just two suggestions out of tons. So if you have any, leave them in the comment section below. But there has to be a way to make it grindable because of the reasons like the features that we want to use. The scaff karma being abused to push the PMC and the end negating the karma, affecting hatchling runs, which nobody wants. So those are just a couple of reasons. There are many more why the current state isn't ideal, in my opinion. But uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. I really hope they either change the values again so that it's actually grindable because it makes the game way more interesting and dynamic also because there is another gameplay loop now before it was just pmc missions that's it that's tarkov but with the scaf karma and the lower scaf cooldown you have the option to play the game as scaf because yeah sure not everything you still have to do missions and level up your pmc but you can do a ton of things as scaf so basically you have two gameplay loops which can make the game way more interesting and way more diverse. And therefore you put more hours into it and you're not bored as fast and asking for the next swipe in a couple of months. But yeah, let me know what you think. As always, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why. Subscribe for more. 
Uh, and I noticed that a lot of people don't get notified when I upload something. So make sure to click the ring bubble thingy so that you get notified about new videos. Otherwise, we also have a community discord now. So if you want to join, it's free for all. And yeah, I think that's everything. All right. <laughs> See you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.